Have you ever wondered what it truly means to be a good neighbour? A simple question, yet it stirs up a whirlwind of thoughts and emotions. Is it just about friendly greetings or lending a hand when needed? Or perhaps it's something deeper, something that transcends the boundaries of race, religion and personal bias. We're about to embark on a journey of understanding and reflection, diving into a timeless tale that might just hold the answer. The answer to this lies in an age-old parable, the story of the Good Samaritan. In the book of Luke, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves. These bandits stripped him of his clothing, beat him, and left him half dead on the side of the road. This man, in desperate need of help, was alone and exposed to the harsh elements. Now, by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. Then a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side too. Both of these men, respected figures in their community, chose to ignore the suffering of their fellow man. But then a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where the man was. Now you should understand that Samaritans and Jews generally did not associate with one another due to deep-seated cultural and religious differences. However, when the Samaritan saw the man, he was moved with compassion. The Samaritan went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine, which were common remedies of that time. Then he put the man on his own animal and brought him to an inn where he took care of him. The story doesn't end there. The next day, the Samaritan took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. He didn't just provide immediate relief, but ensured the man's care even after his departure. Now, let's reflect on this. The Samaritan didn't just stop to help the man. He went above and beyond showing kindness, not just in his actions, but also in his willingness to spend his own resources to ensure the man's safety and recovery. And thus the Samaritan, a stranger and supposed enemy, became the wounded man's neighbor. This story is a powerful reminder of the transformative power of compassion and the true meaning of being a neighbor. It's not about proximity or similarity, but about empathy, kindness, and taking action when others are in need. This simple story carries profound lessons about compassion, kindness, and humanity. Let's delve a little deeper into the parable of the Good Samaritan. At its core, this story is about the unexpected hero, the Samaritan. Despite the hostility between the Jews and the Samaritans in that era, it was the Samaritan who stopped and helped the injured man. He showed compassion and kindness, demonstrating that these virtues transcend cultural and religious boundaries. In stark contrast, the priest and the Levite, who were expected to uphold and embody the moral codes of their society, passed by the injured man without offering help. Their indifference paints a stark picture of the gap that can exist between religious piety and genuine kindness. But the parable goes beyond just the characters. It challenges us to rethink our narrow definitions of neighbor. In the context of this story, the neighbor is not just someone who lives nearby or shares our ethnicity or religion. Instead, it is anyone who needs our help, regardless of their background or circumstances. This parable pushes us to extend our compassion beyond our immediate circles. It encourages us to reach out to those in need, to lend a helping hand, no matter who they are or where they come from. The Good Samaritan teaches us that a neighbor is not just someone who lives next door, but anyone in need. In our modern world, the story of the Good Samaritan remains more relevant than ever. The tale's timeless message of compassion and selflessness is a beacon of hope in our often divided society. It's a call to action, urging us to look beyond our differences, reach out and lend a helping hand to those in need. In an age where we're more connected than ever, it's easy to forget the importance of real human connection. The Good Samaritan teaches us that empathy and kindness are not outdated concepts, but vital tools in building a better world. Consider this, every act of kindness, no matter how small, has a ripple effect. It can change a person's day, their outlook, even their life. The power to create such change lies within each of us. So, next time you see someone in need, remember the Good Samaritan. Remember that you have the power to be a good neighbor, regardless of where you are or who you're with.